Now, the Metropolitan Police has been filmed threatening to arrest yet another Christian preacher over so-called hate crime complaints. Let's take a look now. This unfolded in West London last weekend. If you preach in here, it also depends on what you say. You might be committing criminal offences as well. If, if you make a members of the public yeah. harassment, alarm, distress, yeah. it's a criminal offence. I'm aware of that. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we're, what we're doing. That. What we're doing is about preaching our religion. Okay, could you yeah. just tell me what you were saying? So we're saying Jesus is the only way, record this, we're saying, he asks me what I've been preaching, so we've been preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever, that is any person, doesn't matter if they're black, white, homosexual, drunken, liar, thief, prostitute, whoever believes in him, shall not perish but have everlasting <laughs> life for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but he sent his son into the world that all can be saved and that is the message of the gospel that's what we've been preaching now by pastor Dwayne lopez who was involved how many police officers were there there was about five different police officers unbelievable there. exactly you're going about you're a preacher you've got an established church yes. in Uxbridge in West London, you're preaching from the gospel. Five police officers. Five police officers to intimidate me and try and stop me. And what, how, 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 I'll get my words out in a second. Had they been called by somebody, were they walking past? So allegedly they said that a member of the public called them saying that I've been saying some homophobic behavior, which is absolutely not the case. And then when I questioned the police officer about this, he was saying that he's not met the victim, but he's heard that they said this, so he wanted to um, demand my details and demand um, information from me. When I begin to question him politely, yeah. he began to get more aggressive yeah. and threatened to arrest me. And you, and you were actually threatened with arrest and threatened that you, they could keep you in a police cell overnight? Threatened with arrest and threatened with, to keep me in a police cell overnight, yes, correct. Well, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I just feel that we as Christians are given a mandate from our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ to go out into the world and to preach the gospel. This is a Christian country, we're well within our rights, you know, when the king got ordained, um, what happened is that they used the Bible, mm -hmm. and this is the same Bible that I'm using to present a message of love, the gospel, to every person, and therefore I feel that we need to be reminded that this is a Christian country and we should be treated with dignity and respect. And I, I assume, Dwayne, you've been preaching in the street, taking your message beyond the church yes. but for a long time. For a very long time. Have you ever had a, this happen before? I've had it happen before, but not this aggressive, because I believe that they wanted to prove a statement which to shut us down, basically, from preaching the gospel. So five police officers came, and they were very... Uh, it's completely shocking, actually. You're going to tell me next they turned up in a police van? <laughs> yep, they turned in a police van. Oh, they didn't. I said that as a so joke. Yeah, five of them, and then you can see them walking to us, and I was thinking, OK, well, what's this about? And then they begin to ask different questions, and then they begin to get very aggressive when we were mm. standing our ground, because they thought that we were just going to be silent. And How many of you were there from the church? Your so church? there was um, about three of us from yeah. the church there. Right. And we were all preaching from the Bible. You don't look the violent type. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, from, in fact, from the public, everyone was saying, what are you doing? We want them to preach. Yeah. They're celebrating us, applauding us, because we've got a good um, reputation of the community. And many people, even the comments, are coming to our support. And you can see my demeanour. I was very polite. Very respectful. They tried to trigger me. They tried to threaten me. I'm going to put me in a police van. They tried to, you know, bully us into submission to them. But I just made it clear that I just want to know why are you requesting these details before I give my details, and they won't have none of that. So where does this leave you now in terms of, in terms of preaching? Yes. Yeah, so our mission is the Great Commission, and I'm still going to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I just want the everyone to be aware that. We are not going to be silent. We're well within our rights, Section 9, Section 10, freedom of expression, freedom of religion. And these are to protect us from proclaiming the message of the gospel. And I want the police to be reminded of this. And, and I just struggle to think how recite, re reading something from a Bible can be interpreted as a hate crime. You've got the Bible there yes. with, the, with the exact passage in it. Yes. Can you just read us? It's not too long, is no, it? No. Just, just read just us one the verse, passage again. One verse. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I don't see that as a hate crime. No. I see it as a message of love to whoever believes will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a beautiful message. Do you feel 
As a Christian pastor, increasingly that people are trying to marginalise or even persecute. I feel there's a two-tier system. So when it comes to Christians, like you said, they're trying to marginalise, they're trying to silence us. But when it comes to other groups, they're allowed to express their mm. religion loud and clear. But when a Christian comes on the street and begins to present the gospel, there's a problem. I say the football fans are not ashamed to lift up their football teams. The, the homosexuals are not ashamed to go on marches. Different groups are not ashamed to march on London Bridge and, and shout and scream. But when the Christian comes on the street and present the gospel, then the police come in like a flood. Five of them mm -hmm. tried to silence us just we, like they did. We saw it just a couple of weeks ago. Yes. The, the woman who was singing hymns. Exactly. Mm. In, in London, in Oxford Street. Yeah, that was Harmony London, yeah. who was singing outside uh, John Lewis yep. yeah. uh, when she was approached by a volunteer police officer who said she couldn't sing songs outside of church grounds, although Scotland Yard has since apologised for that. So how, how did this end? Yeah, so it ended, they basically wanted us just to move on. So they just remained there and they said they're not going to stop until we just moved on. But um, it was coming to our end anyway, so we decided to move on. But they were adamant that we're here and if you don't move on, so I had to give my details, first of all. After giving my details, they're adamant that we had to move on from preaching our religion. And just remind us what your church is called. So you? my church is called the Potter's House Church in Uxbridge. Potter's House Church in Uxbridge. Yeah, I'm a pastor of the church. My name is Pastor Dwayne Lopez, um, UB8, 1ES. Um, and we start, have our service at 1pm on Sundays and on Wednesdays, 7.30pm in Uxbridge. And I welcome all to come and support. Maybe those police officers should come. They should come. And see what, see what, we'll what, what goes on in your and church. And this hasn't deterred you. No, it has not deterred me. Work. In fact, it's put a fire in me to present a message to other street preachers that, you know, the UK are behind us because the comments are giving us so much support. Well, we've woken us up. We've had dozens and dozens of messages yeah. supporting yeah. you here. And that's even Absolutely. before you came on. Now, the Met Police have released this statement. And that it says that officers were responding to a report from the member of the public that a group of people were making racist and homophobic comments. The Met does not tolerate hate crime and officers responded to investigate this. We have watched the body-worn video of the full exchange. There were no arrests. They should be apologising, frankly. They should definitely be apologising. There was absolutely no hate crime. There was no uh, racist behaviour. When were you last accused of being a racist? Never. <laughs> Never, ever. That is shocking. And, yeah, I'm... Um, I'm not I'm upset about that. Yeah. If well, you get an apology, so let us know. For Thanks for coming in. Telling no to you and hopefully you're by all the support that you're thank getting. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank thank you. you, Dwayne.